How to lose a deal in 10 seconds or less. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Quinton. Yes, I'm your host here at the Quinton Group TV. And uh, today we're gonna talk about 10 reasons why buyers are losing. All right, 10 reasons why buyers are losing. I can't believe this. So let, me, let, me, let me go over with you guys real quick. Number one, see buyers are losing out on deals right now because they're uneducated in the market and how really good the market is. Like they just can't believe what's going on in the market. So they're just very uneducated on how hot the market is. They don't think that they're gonna look at a home today and by the time they get to the to back to their house or back home or whatever it may be, a half hour later, hour later, that it's actually gonna be sold. It literally can happen like that. Buyers are losing because you're just uneducated into the market and understanding the reality of what's happening. Number two, they're not pre-qualified. Okay, I wrote down, they're not pre-qualified with a lender or not even willing to get qualified until they actually look at the property. Guys, if you're getting financing, you have to get pre-qualified way in advance, full on qualified. Like not only have a pre-qual letter, but have a pre-approval, right? So by the time you go and you look at a house and you come back and you like, oh, I have interest in it, but let me talk to my lender to make sure I can afford it. It's too late. It's way too late. You gotta get pre-qualified in advance or pre-approved, okay? Number three, um, the buyers are losing because they're not ready to buy instantly. Almost like number one, instantly. If you're gonna come down and look at property, if you're gonna go out and look at property, you've gotta be prepared to write an offer right then. Otherwise, if you wait on things, I'm telling you, and not doing it instantly, you're gonna lose, okay? Point number four, terms of the agreement, right? Too many contingencies, like a condominium review, a furniture review, inspection clauses, Guys, you can have all this into the, into the built into the agreement, but when you start putting too many contingencies in there, other offers are coming in without all of that. We've got to get you satisfied by not actually putting them into the agreement. Okay, number five, right now we're doing escalation clauses. Okay, escalation clauses. Basically, escalation says that you're willing to pay, you know, a certain price up to a certain price, not to exceeding a certain price, right? Well, you know, if we say, oh, I'm willing to pay $500 above any other offer not to exceed, you know, uh, you know, 500,000 and your offer's 490, well, you're, you're probably not even gonna get anywhere near close to that. Many of these homes right now are going eight, 10, you know, 12% above asking price, even with escalation clauses. So you're not putting the escalation clause high enough or going in right now without actually putting a cap on it. Just go and say, we're well, gonna pay five grand higher than any other offer. Number six, the reason why ages are, uh, are, are buyers are losing, okay? They're closing dates. They're pushing the closing dates way out too far. Like, okay, I'll, I'll settle it, but I don't want to close until, you know, until late March, right? Or, or late uh, uh, May or whatever it may be. Hey, we've got to close quick. Like 30 days right now is standard or less. If you're going to get a mortgage, you've got to close quick right now. Number seven, um, this is a challenge, all right? Uh, age, and it goes with number one too about being uneducated. Um, too many buyers have too many questions right now before putting it in the putting it in the contract. Like, hey, can you find out about the utilities? Can you find out about the insurances, right? By the time they go and we get the research and back from all the owners, all the information, and all the, 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 getting the answers to the questions that they want, it's too late. Just put it in the contract. You wanna learn about the utilities? Put it in the agreement. It's contingent upon reviewing the utilities within two days, okay? All right, number eight, they're waiting on comps. They wanna wait on comps right now to decide, comparable sales. Guys, I can tell you this. If you're looking at comparable sales of things they've sold, has nothing to do with the current value right now of real-time value. Because what went under contract and written in January to where it's settling right now or, or under contract or closing in February, totally different. You gotta know right now, with talking with an agent that knows real-time value as we speak. When we're doing market analysis now, list price might be $7.99, but I know it actually sold for $8.30. It's not gonna show up until it closes, okay? So, you know, waiting on comps. Guys, it's not about what's sold, it's what's available. All right, that's what's going on in this market and, and buyers are losing out because they're, they're saying, well, the last one sold for. It doesn't matter what the last one sold for, guys. You're gonna lose if you keep on playing that game. It's what the last one went under contract for. All right, number nine, um, they're not writing backup properties, right? They're not writing offers on backup properties. In other words, if you go out today and you see a property and you wanna write an offer on it, great. It's, it's likely it could be sold very quickly or multiple offers. Do you have a second backup choice? Go write an offer on the backup one. Go put two offers in if you want. You can go ahead and do that, right? So maybe you have a backup. And lastly, buyers right now are not doing attorney prepared contracts. You've got to get an attorney to prepare the agreement in New Jersey. So when everyone signs, it's done, it's over with, and you're not going to get blown out or into a multiple bid situation. So anyway, any questions you have here, give me a call, give our team a call. We want you to win every single time and, uh, and, not, be, uh, and not lose. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.